What's up, everybody? I'm back. I know everybody probably thinks this guy has no life. All he does is uh, test out new ROMs and different uh, things on his Evo. But you're probably right if you had that assumption. So Anyway, we're going to be looking at a new ROM today. Uh, I have no idea how to say it. It's called... Uh, me me you or something like that it's m i u i it's a chinese rom that uh is kind of a mixture between the iphone and android so if you like the sleekness of the iphone which me personally i don't but i just want to show people this anyway but i i don't like the iphone so that's why i have evo but um if you do like that and you like the interface this is probably um, gonna be right up your alley. So I'm gonna start it up and I got a custom boot screen on this so it's gonna look different than what the original the original just has Android that flashes across here. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Okay. It's gonna be hard to see at first because of the bright light kind of offsets my camera because I have a crappy camera. Anybody knows my uh, videos knows that too. Uh, all, all in all, it's an awesome ROM. Um, the only problem I heard was the. Okay, let's check this out. All right, and, and that's something I put on there. This is not a stock boot screen. You would have to put it on there. So, but it's the R2-D2, so I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to put it on there. Okay, and this is a lock screen that I put on there. Um, or not the lock screen, but the... No, what? Uh, I put this um, picture on there. The... This. It comes with the ROM, but I put it on the lock screen. And this is the lock screen right here. Over here, you have this button, which I'm not exactly sure if it works. And I think it's a message. And this is your phone button. But I, I'm, I don't think they're working at this time. But this is your lock screen. And you just drag that up. And this is the interface right here. Uh, you can see the buttons are iPhone-ish. Uh, they're um, iPhone-ish, but they're pretty cool. Um, they 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 look like the apps from Android, but they're kind of bubble-ish. And I'll try in, but yeah, you can see this on the video. Um, they're they're bubbly like in the background they have like a background and there's no launcher for your or i mean a uh, app launcher so you or app drawer you don't have an app drawer so all your apps are over here like the iphone which to me sucks but you know so i don't know how many pages you can have so and that's the wallpaper right there which is pretty cool then you have a dock bar at the bottom um which is also pretty cool and you can uh, take these and move them there okay or or you can uh, take them and move them up so you can pretty much do either one so I thought that's pretty cool um, the the notification bar which you probably can't see it very well but it's clear so that's another thing that's pretty cool. It's a clear notification bar. And this is what your notification bar looks like. You have whatever's going on. And then down here you have some other things like Wi-Fi, APN, rotation, backlight, and, and it slides, GPS, sync. Um, a lot of different options that you have on the, the bottom that, you know, go back and forth. So you can, you know, rotate and backlight, uh, sync, airplane mode, and reboot, shut down. So you can do all that from your notification bar. Um, another thing that you can do with this is 
if you want to uh, remove a an app from your your home screen, um, you really can't because it's like the iPhone that's on there. So, in essence, the only thing you can do is to take an app, and I'm gonna use YouTube, okay, and hold it, and then bring it up here. You see the little trash can? You bring it up there, and it. You know, I couldn't delete that because it's a system app, but if it was a, a, um, a regular, if it was a, um, regular app, then it would uninstall it. So it wouldn't just remove it from your screen, that would uninstall it. So that's a lot easier for people that don't want to have to put quick in uninstall or something like that. So you just hold it, like you're going to drag it somewhere, pull it up to the top to the trash can, and it will uninstall it. Or you can, um, uh, it, by accident you wouldn't um, remove a system app because it won't remove it that way so that's pretty similar to what that is another app I notice is MIUI backup which uh, I guess this is where you can create backups of your ROM um, you can't really see but it says create backup right here and up here it says no backups yet so I think you can like kind of create a backup of your ROM something that's not on a lot of other ROMs um, as far as I know, uh, everything's working on this ROM. I heard that the uh, uh, MMS wasn't working on this ROM, so that may be an issue for some. Or uh, it works to send but not to receive. So I think you can send pictures but can't receive or something like that. Not exactly sure. So okay. Um, another thing is your messaging uh, looks like um, a little different. So hopefully you can see that. It looks a little different. And gives you option to call them back. Um, has the stock Android keyboard. Um, another thing. Um, let me see. Your phone book right here in the middle. Okay, you, you go there. And it also looks a little different. Um, you pick somebody, and you know it shows it like that. Um, and if you call somebody, like I'll, I'll just call somebody just to show you what the phone looks like um, it's pretty cool if you you call them you see it has it still has the the wallpaper in the background which is pretty cool so that's what your phone looks like so that's pretty cool has the picture whoever you you have a picture of or it's linked to and then it has the wallpaper in the background and this is kind of see-through. You got the same thing as stock Android pretty much, you know, but I thought it was pretty cool. All in all, the ROM's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. Uh, everything seems to be in working order, but it's just not my cup of tea. It looks too much like the iPhone, and besides that, it, um, it, it, um, it also doesn't have an app drawer which is hard to get used to so and here's the camera the the camera is working as you can see so everything actually seems to be in working order and this actually seems to be a lot farther in development than the desire HD ROM that has been floating around so all right um downloads will be in the details as always flash at your own risk uh, if your phone wakes up and starts uh, looking for Energon, then I'm not responsible for whatever it does. Hope you liked the the um, video, and if I missed anything, uh, hit me up, and I'll try to resolve it. I'm out.